Hello, Tommy here again. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about straw saw patterns. Uh, there won't be a lot to talk about here, but I'll mainly show you the options with straw saw patterns and where you can get them. There, there are many sources. There are a whole lot of places online you can both buy and get free patterns. And I'll have several links down in the description for those. I get most of my patterns from Steve Good. This is, I believe, some Steve Good patterns. Uh, they come in four by eight, eight and a half by eleven sheets, and sometimes they're they're two layer, multi layer. I believe all of these were, were uh, that's a two piece. These all were Steve Good patterns. Uh, he's got I've got a link to him. He's got an excellent blog and a pretty good YouTube channel. Uh, but th this wasn't his. This was. Uh, out of a magazine, I do believe, and I'll, I'll talk, talk to you about the magazine too. You can get uh, things online. Uh, I, I got that just for the uh, state of Texas outline, which I used for one of the projects. I made a box shaped like the state of Texas. This is a, a pattern that I bought, and we'll talk about that more in a minute. And then some of them are more than just patterns, they're basically plans. You got multiple pieces here, and I'll show you how I modify those, or I'll tell you how I modify those here in a minute, but some some of the sources, like I said, there's a lot of free ones online you can download digitally. Steve Good is a good source, and there's several others, and I have them in the in the description, links to them. You can also buy these books. Uh, I don't know if these are still in print, uh, but these are usually fairly simple, comparatively simple patterns. Uh, but they're very good patterns. Several of them in here. Uh, this is the same thing. You can see they're not real complex, but they're very nice. Now, I've got links to two used book uh, websites that have copies of these. Oh, I bought these at a used book sale here in town. I also subscribed to one magazine, the Scroll Saw Woodworking, which is where the little car uh, patterns came from. It has a pull-out section with several patterns, and it has articles about cutting the patterns. Some of the patterns are on on the pages of the magazine, uh, such as that. But uh, and then some of those are just a pull-out. It's a large piece of fold-out paper. But then what you need for those is a copier or a scanner. Uh, I have a. a a printer, that's a, copy, a copier and scanner, and then I, I use that on these. I make copies of patterns, uh, you know, stuff like Steve Good. You just download it digitally and print it out as you need it, uh, such as that right there. That's just one part of a two-piece pattern. Uh, and you save it on your computer and print it out as often as you need it. Now, like this, I scanned that out of the the catalog, the magazine. Uh, so those are the things you can do to get the patterns. Uh, where you can apply them and cut them. Now, what I do a lot of too is I uh, I modify patterns for my own use. For instance, uh, this box right here, that's a Steve Good pattern. It's just what you were looking at there a while ago. That's what comes from that pattern. But what I would do, he also has a little program that you can download from him that. You can cut these personalized keychains or use it for whatever. So what I would do is I would take the pattern for this box and I would modify it using this to make this. And as far as the ends, I just found a heart. Uh, this, this program has a heart in it that I put in there to make that space. And that's how I made these personalized boxes. Uh, I just mixed, mixed and matched some designs. Uh, you can also do that, and I didn't do anything extra fancy there except to print this pattern and print this pattern and overlay this over it and cut only this part out and just ignored this part. But uh, Steve Good creates his own patterns. He puts out a new pattern almost daily. You go, he has a catalog that you can download freely from or you can have it delivered to you in a DVD or a thumb drive. <clears throat> I just download them from online. But he creates those patterns. I believe he uses Corel Draw. Uh, I don't have Corel, but I use a free program called Inkscape. There are some uh, 
tutorials on YouTube for Inkscape. Uh, and if you'd like me to show you how I use that, uh, I don't do anything real fancy with it. I just modify some patterns occasionally with it. Uh, basically, uh, Steve has some patterns that, that you want to personalize. You can go into Inkscape or Corel Draw and put a personalized name or whatever in it and modify the pattern. Uh, but that's basically what I do. I download them online, print them out. Most of them come, like I say, eight and a half by 11 sheets. Uh, Steve's comes in the PDFs where you can print out eight and a half by 11 sheets. And uh, for magazines and books such as this, I scan them. Or when I, before I retired, I worked where they had a copy machine. I would take them to work and, and scan them on the copy machine. But now I do it on my printer at home. And I do a little bit of work with the Inkscape, uh, not a lot, but uh, a lot of times you can uh, just get a, an object online and bring it in uh, into Inkscape, or you can just print it out and, and paste it over another piece of paper, or just simply tape it and scan it, or whatever you want to do. Uh, and then when I get a pattern, I'm like, like, like the box here, I might use that pattern in various ways. Uh, so that's, that's the pattern for that box right there. I uh, also have the pattern, if you remember the bench that I showed in the previous video. That was a Sue May pattern, and I paid for that. Uh, I'll have a link to her website. She has some really incredible stuff. But I downloaded that pattern from her, and then here's, here's a, a copy of it that I have. That's like a, a four-piece plan. Uh, there's four pieces you have to cut out to put that together. But that was what I was really after. I made the bench and I since then used that on one of my own designs which was a very simple little design which was a doll bed and I'll post a photo of that so you can see it. Uh, but you can mix and match these patterns. You can cut them to do different things with them. Uh, he has several little programs to do things like this. Uh, he has a very good little blog Steve Good does it, like I say, I have a link to that and to his blog and to his uh, catalog, pattern catalog. And he uh, doesn't charge anything for those patterns. He just asks that you don't resell them, modify them to resell them or whatever. Uh, but you can read that on his website about what, how, what his policies are. But I used, I have hundreds of his patterns. And as far as what kind of pattern you want, uh, what decision to make on that, that's really what you want to make. For me, I usually see a pattern, I like it, I go make the, make the piece. And sometimes, occasionally, I have an idea of something I want to make, and I'll go find the pattern for it, or create it. Uh, such as uh, this personalized box, that was just something I thought up, and I've sold several of those and people were really excited about them. I've also done inlays on the top, and we'll show, we'll, we'll cover that in, uh, in another uh, 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 video. But most of those things like that, I went and found uh, photos, or and you have to make sure you're getting something that's not copyrighted, but uh, photos of things, that, you know, uh, objects such as stars, circles, hearts, uh, I even used Mickey and Minnie Mouse on one. I used a, a donkey on top of one of those. That's what the customer specified and laid into the lid. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do for mixing and matching and, and cutting and pasting. But to start out, you just go find you a... I, I'd start out simple uh, with, with just a simple pattern, uh, like the ornaments that I was showing you, or something like that. Actually, what I did with that is I downsized that drastically and cut it in a piece of one eighth and made, or one sixteenth, and made earrings out of it and some rosewood. So, those are the kind of things you can do. And uh, hopefully, uh, this will help you find your patterns. Like I say, I'll have a link to several different sources. Uh, Steve Good being the main one, he's, if you just did nothing but his patterns, you could do a lot of work. But there are other things. Uh, these books are, are very nice. Uh, if you want to make little household knick-knack things. Uh, I'll, I'll, like I say, I have a link to the... There's two different used book sites that sell those. I have a link to Fox News Publishing. 
they have uh, a lot of things. They also sell some of their stuff on Amazon, but uh, and that's I subscribe to that. I get a lot of patterns, and there are plans for other things in there. Just uh, a very nice magazine. I've been getting that for quite a while. So I have way more patterns and things I'll ever use, but I'm always collecting more. Uh, and I think that's what you'll find if you get get started into it. Uh, I see a pattern, I grab it, and it's, you know it doesn't take much to store it. And eventually, I come up with a plan to use it. So if this is helpful to you, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about. Uh, the supplies you need, the materials you need to apply a pattern to a piece of, uh, of stock, uh, how, to, how to apply it and how to prepare it to cut, and also show you how I apply my patterns and, and some of the tips and tricks to that. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.